Capricorn. Welcome back. Welcome to my channel if you're new. I'd like to thank everyone for viewing, liking, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up on your way out as that truly does help my channel. But more importantly, it helps the other Capricorns that need to get the messages in this in this reading because it circulates the video. I want to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It's definitely going to completely resonate for some of you, but not all of you, okay? So those of you that it doesn't completely resonate for, please take what does resonate. That's your messages. Leave the rest behind. You also can take a look at any of the other timeless videos that are in my playlists because, like I said, they're timeless. That'll help you move forward. Find a, a title that resonates, and there you go. This video is all about spirit wanting you to know what it is that has to end or sorry what it is that has to end why it has to end or had to okay so some of you have already gone through the ending others of you you're probably aware that it needs to take place but it hasn't happened yet now we are going to start off with three cards from three different decks and that's going to give you um, the information as far as what it is hopefully and then we'll go into a full reading to figure out more in depth what's going on and what needs to come to an end okay i want to thank everyone for all your support i truly truly am so grateful Everybody that has donated to my channel, that has purchased my decks that I've created, or just purchasing the extended, just watching the video, giving a thumbs up, commenting. I love your comments. I read them all. Thank you so much. Okay. Final card. Okay, now, this is the soul's journey. All the decks are listed below in the description box. Click on the title of this video. It will drop down the description box, and that's where you'll find these, as well as your extended link for the video, the extended video, okay? This is, like I said, soul's journey. This is discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. So in order to end what you need to end, you need to be disciplined. We still don't know what it is that's coming to an end. Maybe for some of you, it's just that you need to be disciplined. You're not disciplined enough at this point in time. <laughs> I know I'm not. And maybe that's what has to come to an end, not being disciplined enough. But I have a feeling that that's not it. I have a feeling that you're you're being asked to be more disciplined to bring it to an end whatever this is okay this is motivation manifesto and it says we do not need more time we need a stronger reason to act so that we use time more effectively discipline <laughs> that's what this is talking about you don't need more time you just need to be more disciplined so that you will use the time more effectively I'm not laughing at you, Capricorn. I'm laughing because I'm in the same boat. This is the lesson that I'm learning at this point in time. I need to use my time more wisely and more effectively. Okay, now this is um, Power of Surrender Oracle Cards. I have not seen this one yet. Surrender to Inner Peace. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis in quiet meditative moments. Focus on the stillness within and enjoy this inner refuge. Others will feel your good vibes too and your life will flow more easily. So for some of you, it's about being a little more disciplined when it comes to meditating. Spirit agrees. <laughs> Train. Okay. So this is ready to go. We're going to get... Um, some cards from the 
guardian angel messages tarot and your first card out is the seven of wands don't fear be determined and resist um i need a different way of putting that angels okay well what i'm hearing is resist the pushback resist Others are going to try and stop you from doing what you want to do, what you feel is right for you. Resist conforming and doing what it is, you know, resist the people pleasing, I guess is what I want to say. And look at this guy. He's out here with one running shoe and one boot. He doesn't care what anyone thinks. Oh my goodness, I just looked at the time on the camera, 5.55. That is life-altering changes. You've got some changes coming in, Capricorn. And you're being asked to be disciplined. And this guy is disciplined. He knows what he wants. He knows what he believes in. And he's willing to stand up for it. One boot and one shoe. It, he don't care. It's like, whatever. You don't like it, don't look at it. Okay. Second card is the Eight of Pentacles education focus and details this is known as the apprenticeship card and so therefore it's all about working hard in a way that you're not used to or working on something that you haven't worked on before going back to school but it can also talk about discipline because it's about focus and it's about paying attention to the details. That takes discipline. I'll tell you, to pay attention to the, the details, that takes discipline. You know, I've never seen the High Priestess in this deck until now. And here she is. Intuition, wisdom, and patience. I'm not... I'm not even going to talk about these yet because spirit is not giving me anything yet except for this guy but the messages will come as we pull more cards wow 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 the emperor organization leadership structure some of you may need to be a little bit more organized and have more of a structure and be disciplined in those i know i do this is one of the, the lessons or growths that I need to take on. Organization. I'm bad for that. Really bad for that. I can organize a room like that and get it looking amazing. And within a day or two, things are piling up in it again. I just cannot stay organized. I don't know what that is. So that is what's the task that's on me right now, too. And I'm a Virgo, so we're both earth, earth signs. It could be an earth sign thing right now, okay? Now, bottom of this deck, part of your overall energy. I'm not kidding. When I tell you this, the last probably six Zodiac readings I've done, this card has come out in every one of them. The Ace of Swords. That's about truth. I'm hearing an understanding. In this deck, it says inspiration, communication, and adjustments. I can get behind the adjustments based on what's come out here. But this little guy here, it's, you know, and I, I got to say for all, all six of you, it's the same message coming across. He looks defeated. He looks depleted. It's like he took his big boy sword and went out to play with the big boys and they laughed at him and made fun of him because he wasn't even strong enough to pick up that sword. It's too big and too heavy for him. He just wanted to be a part of it. And now he feels like he doesn't fit in and that's all he wanted. So some of you, I think, are feeling that you don't fit in. But what I want to point out is you've got Archangel Gabriel back here guiding you. He is the Archangel of Communication. So he is constantly trying to get messages through to you. And 
you have a card over here it talks about um meditation he will communicate to you easier if you meditate okay we're going to just keep going and the messages are going to flow i know they are because this has happened before and that's always how it works for some reason spirit holds back the messages until a little further in the reading so now we're going to use the light seers deck Okay, I've got something for these two here, for some reason. Stand your ground. You're wanting to move in a brand new direction. You might have others that aren't agreeing with the direction you want to go in. Stand your ground. Stand up for what you believe in. Go after your passion. Do that new thing. Get that education, whatever it is. No matter what anybody else thinks it's not it's not their business it's yours capricorn and maybe the messages came through because this is the first ones we're going to clarify on the seven of wands and the eight of pentacles you've got the two of pentacles find your balance everything seems to be up in the air right now so find your balance find the right balance for you between the different situations the different things that are going on in your life I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking he, he's not balanced. He's having trouble balancing or finding the balance because of everyone that's coming up against him here or every, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's as though you've made up your mind with this one wand here, but you've got all of this other stuff here that just keeps getting in the way. And it might not even be people. It could be situations. It could be events. It could be your own thoughts. There, it just feels like there's chaos here. There's, there's not a steady, sure-footed feeling with this card here now. So before you move on into this newness, whatever this is, get the balance find that balance for yourself so you're not flying by the seat of your pants because that's what i feel this guy's doing here he's just he knows he knows what he believes in he knows what he wants but he's just he's flying by the seat of his pants there's just so much that he's being confronted with that's a good way to put it thank you angels you're going to know what this represents it's going to be different for all of you leave comments let me know what this is Okay, so now the Eight of Pentacles and the High Priestess, you've got the Five of Cups. Get yourself balanced and sure-footed before taking that step into this new direction because you don't want to regret anything. You don't want to end up in a place that isn't what you were going for and then regret your forward movement. But it's it's on these two cards here. It's on the Eight of Pentacles, so that is moving forward into something new, but it's also the High Priestess, so listen to your intuition. Archangel Gabriel is giving you messages, sending you information, and guiding you. That is your intuition. Your soul is probably trying to speak to you. Meditate. Meditate. Okay, now on top of the High Priestess and the Emperor. Ooh, you've got the Three of Cups. Nice. See, you're going from this Seven of Wands. I want to show this to you because that's when it's going to hit you. This is the same guy. Energy, okay? It could be a woman. But this is you. This is where you're at now. This is where you need to be. Do you see the difference between these two? I'm sure you do. I know you do. One is very balanced, very centered, very sure-footed. The other one is flying by the seat of his pants, literally. 
doesn't know how to deal with what's coming at him. This guy, you could, <laughs> there's no way you're blowing this guy off his feet or out of his chair. He's solid. That's what you need to get to. And you can get there by listening to your intuition. Okay. Because this is brand new, whatever it is, you do need to listen to your intuition because you've never experienced this before. You have no idea. It's not possible for you to have any idea of direction or how to's or wins. Let your inner guidance system and spirit give you that. I want to point something out here. I look at these cards here. Look at these ones here. They all flow color wise. Isn't that beautiful? That purple. There's flow over here. There's balance and there's flow. Over here, we're all over the place color wise. So if you follow your guidance, you will get to this place of Emperor. This guy is so independent. He's so strong. He's so courageous. He's steadfast. You cannot knock this guy over. Nothing takes him out at the knees. That's where you need to get to. This guy creates and builds empires with his bare hands and then runs them like it's child's play. Nothing knocks him over. And that's where spirit wants you to get. It's getting a little dark in here. I just had to move something. Okay, bottom of this deck now. Part of your overall energy with the Eight of Swords is the Eight of Wands. This is a card about communication too. I don't know. Some of you maybe have someone that is coming to you with important information to help you move forward in this. Others of you, it's all going to happen super fast when you get your balance here. It's like this. You start to move in this direction. You follow the guidance, the intuition. You will have no regrets. You will be celebrating because this is success. The emperor is success. That guy doesn't fail. He's done enough failing in his life to know how not to fail anymore. And that's where you're at, Capricorn. You've been working so hard. You have been doing the work. You've been growing, expanding, evolving. All those dark night of the soul moments, they've, they've brought you here. But I think you're a little bit wobbly in um, believing, possibly. Or the discipline in moving forward. Time management. Okay, now we're going to get a couple of cards from Gaia Oracle. So on top of the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups, you've got achievement. Woo! And it says, keep focused on your dream. Yes. Focus, like we said earlier, with the Eight of Pentacles. Discipline to remain focused on your dream. And look at where this sits. It's right below the Eight of Pentacles. But it's on the Two of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. So if you can get your balance, if you can, you know, get centered, you will not look back. You're not going to regret moving in that direction, whatever that is for you. On top of the Five of Cups and the Three of Cups, you've got Enchanted Forest, and it says Mystery, Magic, and Excitement. That's where you're headed. Look where it is. It's underneath the High Priestess. You will be celebrating. Now, maybe he is where he is because he doesn't see. You're not in a place here where you can see where you're headed or what you're going to, where you're going to land. It's, it's mysterious. 
right? It's like the energy of the moon. It, it's not visible yet. Okay, I'm going to get a Divine Door card for you. This is a deck that has a different door on the front of each of the cards and a different message on the back of each of the cards for you from Spirit. And I really would like a new door this time. <laughs> Again, it's the same doors that keep coming out. But that's okay. This is your door. I think it's beautiful. It's all patinaed and... Oh, it's gorgeous. And your message on the back, it says, Deeper. You're not finished. You're not yet done. Dig deeper and deeper. The best is to come. Hold on. Hold on. That is perfect. Be disciplined enough to dig deeper. Keep moving forward. You're almost there. We're almost there. Okay, let's get a Synchronicity Oracle card now. Holiday. Some of you taking a holiday? That's pretty awesome. The Eight of Wands up here can also represent travel. So some of you may be traveling, but I'm more getting from that, the message from that card, that this is more about the speed at which things can flow once you rid yourself of any resistance or blockages. So those of you that are planning a holiday, this is just confirmation that that is a good idea. Those of you that are not planning a holiday, this is just about take a break. This sits on top of the deeper card, but it also is right below the five of cups, which is regret. There's no reason to think you're going to regret moving in the direction that you're being guided in. We never regret movement when it's guided movement. It takes us always to someplace better. Okay, I want to get you one more card. Spirit's message for you. This is another deck where all of the artwork on the fronts, on the face of the cards, is different. And again, there's a different message on the back of every card. But this is a message to you from Spirit. I'm willing to bet it's something to do with the crown chakra, but it's very cool. Okay, now on the back of the card it says, She of the Lotus. If there is a way to fast track growth, it's by being real with the shadowy or unloved parts of ourselves. Shadows can be painful or tender to the touch. Sensitivity can be a trigger that shows us where we might want to spring clean some of our darken, darker, forgotten, ignored, or hidden corners. Accepting our shadows is the first stage in restoring ourselves to wholeness and self-love. Peel back the layers where there is shame, guilt, or fear and bring them into the daylight. Under a loving and compassionate light, they will resolve and reassimilate, reminding us that on the flip side of the coin, these are our superpowers. Very cool. I like that. I like that a lot for you. So your messages did finally come through. I knew they would. Spirit sometimes likes to work that way. I want to ask your guides and spirit what it is that you need to or can do, be, think, and or feel to get through this and move in the direction that you're being guided to move in. We're going to do that in the extended. Those of you that are going over, I will see you over there. Those of you that are not, I love you guys. And I will see you next time.